You know, just like in that last problem, I'm gonna start by taking the constants out of the integral, and then I think that'll show us more clearly what we're up against. Okay, so this problem is actually a reminder that we need to remember our rules for exponential functions and logarithms. We need to do just a little step of algebra here, and this problem is gonna simplify quite a bit. If we remember that e to the natural log of x is just x because the exponential function and the logarithm cancel because they're inverse functions of each other, then this term here just simplifies to an x and we get 4 fifths times the integral of x over x dx, which is 4 fifths times the integral of just 1 dx, and that is just 4 fifths x plus c, and we are finished with that problem. Now I feel kind of bad because we didn't get to do a u substitution in this problem, and I put this u pun up here. So I'm gonna give you a bonus problem just so we can use a u substitution. Let's say we have the natural log of 2x divided by 3x. You'll notice that if we choose our u to be the natural log of 2x, that our du is gonna be one over 2x, and then the chain rule says we have to multiply that by a two, so our du is just 1 over x dx. Now if we pull a 1 third out of this integral and we rewrite our integrand in this form, then we can more clearly see that what we're dealing with here is a u right here and a du right here. We can integrate u du. That's just going to give us 1 third times a u squared over 2. Simplifying a little bit gives us a 1 sixth u squared plus c. And if we plug our natural log back in for u, we get this as our final answer. And if you want to know why we can't bring this 2 out in front of this natural log, you can go to the previous video in this playlist to find out. All right, good job, everybody. I do it all for the u substitutions.